right, guys. We'll take a little water break here. This diet bottle is really good because I could even lash it to the one of my tie-out points here so I don't lose it. The water is real calm, so I'm not really worried about that. You know, let me just lower this. Getting out here and, you know, whatever it is, that kind of calms your spirit. You know, for some of us, it's, you know, for me, a lot of the times, it's, it's going to the gym, uh, working out, going running. And lately, the last, you know, year or more is getting out on the water, doing some kayaking bringing some food along with me, my stove, just getting out there for the day and forgetting about work and what's going on in the world. Uh, and just getting out and having some time. A lot of times it's just me, you know, thinking about family and work. And, and then a lot of times it's it's getting out there and just, uh, you know, meditating on the Lord, praying. And... Um, just asking what his will for my life is. So, you know, it's days like this that uh, I really appreciate being down in South Florida and being able to, to do stuff like this all year long in relatively good weather all year long. And so, you know, especially a day like today and a week after a week like this week where, you know, we've seen our, our president, his administration, uh, just kind of imploding. I know the media is trying to put a um, a positive spin on everything, or you know, take your minds off of things by playing different things on the news instead of reporting the truth. Uh, they basically report lies every single day, divert attention to what's really going on. You know, watch videos on economics, and you'll see that the dollar is tanking. Each and every day, week after week, the dollar's going down, it's slipping. The economy's getting worse, worse rather. More people are losing their jobs. The real unemployment number is way higher than the 8.8.25% .8 or whatever they're reporting. Uh, people have just, have just given up on looking for jobs. Um, and four more years of this administration is not going to fix anything. The only thing it's going to fix is fix our demise as a middle class slowly shrinks in this country and much more quickly if this administration is elected again. Now I'm not saying that the um, Romney ticket is the ticket that's going to save our country, but it'll slow down our implosion as a nation. And then hopefully once we do slow down, we can get leaders in our government that are focused on America, America's values, America's morals, America's founding principles, and get down to business about uprooting everything that's infiltrated our judicial system, our government, both on the you know the local, the state, you know the county levels, the national level federal level, all levels, seems to be ripe with corruption. And it doesn't seem to be any end in sight. And giving our, and giving our enemies, uh, showing weakness to our enemies is not how we need to operate. Our enemies understand one thing, and that's force. And unfortunately, it's deadly force. It's not the show of force all the time, it's the use of force. But it's the use of force in the right way. Not in these worthless wars that are going on where we're sending men and women over to, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan. For what? What's the, what's the end game there? I still would like to know. Both of those countries are not going to embrace uh, whatever these our leaders are telling you, our so-called democracy. They're not going to embrace that. Never. Um, there may be some people in in those countries that do want to embrace it, but it seems that the 
the leadership that we prop up all the time ends up being turning into our enemy instead of our ally. So what I would do is I'd bring everybody home immediately and let those people fend for themselves. But that's just my my thinking. You know, it's just me ranting. And I can go on and on. 